okay, two things that have been misused in, in black community and just community period and is used against us is, is hotel, hotel, okay, and woke, okay. Being woke is this to me and what it's always been to me is I am aware of what's really happening. I think Trump is woke. I think Trump brought you woke information when he told you that this is how politics really operate. This is how I'm going to operate and I'm going to show y'all how this works. So Trump is woke. Conservatives, a lot of the conservatives that agree with Trump, you're woke because being woke is aware of the veil that is in front of you. <laughs> He's co-opted woke. Let's That's go. woke. Y'all done flipped woke into a liberal ideology because what happens usually what's with up, white liberals is, I feel like I'm getting in my bag. Go, go, go. White liberals, they hijack. They hijack things, black women, that you highly influence and men because I remember we just said we in the most powerful nation we're most influential. Man, you know you ain't never heard nobody white say woke. You ain't never heard nobody outside of our community say that. It was something that we were using to say that we are aware. Now, this is what happens. The liberals say we have things that we want to push. We got to put hip words to it. It'll take one, one liberal white woman to be like, I'm woke now. Uh, I, this is me being woke. This is me being a minority. Because remember, that white woman convinced you that she was a minority too, right? You know she did that. White women are not minorities. It's all performance art. It's That's what it is. And so now it's been hijacked and Virtual used signaling. in such a very negative way. Now, under, in the context that it's being used now, I totally understand. White liberal wokeism, whatever that is, bye. I don't want no parts of that. But they took, they hijacked the word, misused it, and did that. Same thing with whole tip. Like, again, you got to understand in the black conscious community, there was a community of black people bringing information. Go ahead. Black folks are searching for their identity and we'll just take anything that people throw at us. We'll just take the label. They'll, they'll call me black. I'll be black. They'll call me Afro-American. I'll be an Afro-American. I want to bring it all the way back to Biggie Smalls, man, uh, because he really did start to perpetuate the Versace Coogee nonsense. Fat, black, ugly as ever. However, Coogee down to the socks, rings and watch filled with rocks. We perpetuate materialism and so anything that generates income, we find that acceptable. We'll do anything for the bag. Black people are the prostitutes of America and we're selling ourselves for the lowest amount of money. And I'm saying it's time to be powerful and to actually accept our birthright, which is being fully vested citizens in America. If we talk in economics, though, I think the only way this happens for real is reparations. And I think without reparations, you're just going to go down the tunnel and you just really got to go get in where you fit in. Because economically, how do you do it? Again, I've learned this through dealing with so many different cultures in the spectrum. Black people in comparison to everybody else ain't got no money. I accept reparations, but I but I'll also double down and push entrepreneurship. Agreed. This, this media company is about to go. And this is going to be the seed money to all types of other business ventures. Agreed. But everyone can't be exceptional. And to really address black poverty, we have to have the debt that's owed to us for building and serving this nation for hundreds of years. And if you disagree with that, you really are supporting uh, the destruction and the death of millions of black folks.